Good morning. Tuesday morning, yesterday, Monday, was probably the most historic day, the most historic moment I ever have and ever will experience. The opening of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. I was there all day, could not bring this camera. It was truly remarkable. I met exceptional people and really got to witness history. That was unbelievable. Heading now to Prove in Herzliya. I have back-to-back -back meetings there, and then I'm having lunch with an old friend, Charles Golding, who uh, was a neighbor, moved away, but we share a lot in common. Not only the love of bow ties, but also he works in media, and I have a lot to learn from him, so hopefully I'll get him on camera. That's going to be great. Following that, I'm heading back home, meeting, this is a little bit somewhat, I'm not going to say embarrassing, but a little humbled by this experience, meeting a friend's son who reached out for his bar mitzvah, and he said that he meets tries to meet some of his heroes and legends for his bar mitzvah, and he has to meet me. It's, it's uh, yeah, like I said, a little bit embarrassing. More on who his father is later. I'll leave that as a, uh, as a surprise. And then, back to Tel Aviv tonight for a party hosted by Law Geeks, a very, very hot company in the legal tech space. So, all in all, morning tonight, pretty geeky and exciting day. Here we go. Salia, you know what that means. Going to prove behind me and in front of me. Samuel, undoubtedly the best kosher steak in Israel, to meet Charles Golding, an old neighbor and a friend and a fellow bow tie enthusiast. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is this good looking man has joined me for lunch. The bad news is Herbert Samuel is closed for a private event. Uh, I'm not really sure why they took our reservation, but it is closed. So we're gonna we're gonna go to Bistro 56, which is also very good. I like Bistro. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I'm I don't like it, but it's it's no Herbert Samuel. You know what that means though. Yes. We have to meet again. No uh, no steak. Wait, so can you just can you show me what you brought here? Yes. Let's see what we well, so you he, meant to open. He, 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 he brought bearing he came no 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 you open it. He I came bearing gift. You. Wow. Look at this box. This box came with it. I t it was uh, from London. But I don't know why. It's too pretty to open it. No, just pull it off. Yeah, but then I can't take a picture of it afterwards. Oh, man. So take, you can take grabs. If I put it like this, you can take a still grab. Let move your hand. Well, there we go. And then take a grab from that. There right. we go. All right. So I'm, just... I'm honored that you'll do that. All right. What we got going on here? Wow. I want to see the face more than the object. Wow. I knew you'd like it. There isn't wow. one like it in the world. And when I saw it, I said, it's not for me, but I know a young man who would like it. Oh, that's what I wrote to you. Wow, this is awesome. Really, really? I'm, are oh, you I'm... kidding me? I'm going to wear it this weekend. Oh, wow, this Sound is made. super awesome. Well, look, wow. and the trouble is, I thought, I said, when am I going to give it to him? Wow. You'll get rid of this voiceover. You bought me this amazing, are you had it made? Like, is it was like a custom-made bow tie? I saw them in there. Do you remember you wore one and you said to me, I bet you haven't got one like this. I said, I haven't. It's in wood. I've never seen one in wood. wood. And I thought, it's okay, but I can, you know, you found it on a website or something like that. Right. So I wanted to get something that was really nice. Right. And that's it. It's I, I really appreciate nice. it. So you, you made this bow tie or you found this bow tie and then we met I, last night at the bar mitzvah. Correct. And my lunch had just canceled. So we had a very spontaneous meeting and you I, came bearing gifts. I really appreciate it. Yes, beware somebody who's hungry bearing gifts because <laughs> they're liable to eat it by the time you get I hear there. that, I hear that. Okay, so let's so go find Paul here or Robin? No, I work I work here at Proof. This is the oh. company that's on my t-shirt. See that? Oh, what is Proof? I'll tell you all about okay. it and over I'm lunch. Okay. Let's go eat. We 
we're finishing up a, how was that lunch? Superb. Okay, we're finishing up a superb lunch. I, by the way, I told them, Brits, no matter what they say, they sound smart, like Elon Gold says. Perfect. Google Elon Gold accents. You'll fall on the floor laughing. So this is my friend Charles Golding who brought me that amazing, amazing bow tie. Hi. Probably the only dude who's more enthusiastic about bow ties than, than myself, but that's a topic for another time. Real quick, give me your background. Like, Three sentences. Uh, three sentences. Do you know, I don't know if I can do it in three sentences. Well, you're a communication expert, so well, you better be you able should to be able to do it. Okay, I teach people how not to let themselves get in the way of what they're saying. I teach people okay. how to put ahead what they want. My father likes to say, think ahead or get one. Okay, yes, stop well, it for another time. Exactly so. Okay, but the point is, um, if, if someone would ask me, what would you say is the, the greatest challenge for, for most Israeli entrepreneurs, I would say it's communication. Yes. And there are many people, by the way, who work in a space of communication in Israel over the years, um, but I don't think there's a single person in this country that has as much experience in this world as you do. And so just kind of like, give me your professional background, where you from, what you do over the years, like really quick. Sure, very quickly. Um, so I did uh, the same degree as you, political science at uni, at university, and I went on, uh, I loved communications, but I wanted to be, I was very superficial, I wanted to be a television presenter, and I loved movies. I think you'd be so, great at that, by the way. What, movies? Um, no, a television presenter. I did breakfast television for about 10 years. I was accent, good. man. I wish I had that accent. It was, in fact, I, uh, I spent a few months in America, in New York, at CBS This Morning, oh, yeah, while yeah. the guy from CBS This Morning went to uh, um, London, and uh, he did wow. my job. And it was great fun, I have to say. They didn't say cookie or biscuit. They used to say, Charles, will you say coffee? And things like that, which is jolly good. But I did that for a while. It was a good uh, coffee. It was a good New York accent you had there. It was great. Well, thank you very much. And my dad used to say to me, Charles, you've got to be very careful about this. One minute they like TV presenters, and one minute they don't. So get yourself a second job. So throughout my life, I've been the boss of radio and television, but I've been a radio and television presenter. Okay. I've been the editor of a newspaper, many, including an American one, the Boston Advocate. Mm -hmm. um, but also, um, I wrote and I had a column. So my speciality was that I could take anything, anything complicated, brain science, and explain it in such a way that my mother could understand. I love and that. You know what? You know what? The, sorry for interrupting. Not at all. Do you know what? I think I think Einstein is quoted as saying, "If you can't explain it to a three-year-old, then you don't understand it yourself." Absolutely. Hundred um, percent. By the way, I just want to point out that I'm giving a commencement speech in three weeks in New York, and Charles here was one of the first people to hear me present that speech just now, good speech. and he gave me phenomenal feedback. So I can I can vouch for your ability of really kind of helping people communicate in a more efficient and effective manner. So let's just let's just let's just say this right now because we're tight on time. We're gonna, do, we're gonna have a follow-up meeting. We're, we're gonna enjoy some steak. We're gonna enjoy, by the way that bow tie killer. But let, let, no, you really I, did like it. My ADD is all over the place today. Let, let me just focus here. If you're a startup and I'm gonna make an offer on your behalf. Yes. Hey, you ready? You ready? You trust me? I trust you. Okay. Well, we met in synagogue, so I mean, how, how, how like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a straight up guy. And then in that case, I have to tell you, it was Rashi who said, I'm writing this for an eight year old boy. If he doesn't understand it, no one will. Okay. That's right. All right, here we go. So here's the offer. If you're a startup, or if you're an entrepreneur, or if you're a big tech company, or if you're a company in Israel, period, doesn't yes. make a difference what kind of company, and you feel like you could use some, let's call it polishing of your pitch, of your story. You know what technology you built, you know how you built it, you know what algorithms you built, you don't know yet how to explain why you built it, right? You know what you built, you know how you built it, you don't know why you built it, or you know, but you, you find it hard and challenging and, and... Or what it does. Well, yeah, but, but engineers know what it does, but, but it's less about what it does. So more about why do I care? Yes. Why would you? If you have, if you find that to be one of your challenges, here's my offer on your behalf. And if you don't, if you don't agree to this offer, I can just edit this part out. But no, I'll reach out, reach out to Charles. No strings attached. He'll sit with you. Free consultation. Free consultation. Because let's just be honest. People need to know about this guy. And the only way to build your brand, and build yourself as an authority, is by giving value to others. Yes. We know that. So reach out. What is your email? Uh, Charles at bowtie. One word. Dot co. Dot uk. Charles at bowtie. Co. uk. First of all, coolest email ever. Reach out to him. He will meet you probably over a good steak. Yep. But he's not paying. You know, you don't pay him, but you pay for a steak. I don't know. Whatever. Point is, reach out to him. I highly recommend. Honestly, the, the, he's legit. He's the real deal. And he will help you with your communication. You know, an hour, two hours, whatever it takes. No strings attached. He's not going to take money from you. He wants to start beginning and to establish his brand and his name in Israel in the tech scene here. And this is the way he's going to do it. Is that, is that an offer that you're perfect. willing to stand by? And articulated brilliantly. I yeah. just say if you could speak just a tiny yeah, bit no, slow. No. It's an American but thing. It, but it is it is the ADD thing. That's true. It's like it's complete ADD. Some of the best people. Biggest gift I ever had. Anyway, listen, Charles, let's turn this thing off. Continue the conversation. 
conversation a little bit. I got to run in a minute. But Lovely. This was a fantastic lunch. I'm glad we, we actually, I'm, I don't remember who canceled on me, but whoever it was, I'm glad they did. So we got to meet today. Perfect. Um, and this is a kickoff. We'll have a couple more meetings, I'm sure, in the near future. And um, yeah. Watch this space. We're going to, we're going to, watch this space. We're going to make it happen. Thank we're, you. In a couple of years, I just have one request, though. Yes. When you, when you are the Red Bull of communication in Israel, I say Red Bull because. <laughs> the Red Bull. When yeah. you are the owner of communication in Israel, don't yes. forget me, okay? You're rich and famous. Don't forget the little do people. Do I look like Tyler? Just saying, don't, don't forget the little people because I, I think you're uh, hyper talented and I think that when people discover you, it's going to. So good luck with that. I'm thank you very much. This was a fantastic lunch and I'm looking forward to the next one. Thank, thank you, sir. Okay, a little context on my next meeting. Meeting a kid named Daniel Bardash, who's uh, Corey Bardash's son. Corey is the head of the Republican Party abroad in Israel and um, pretty, pretty important dude. His son is being bar mitzvahed soon and Corey has somewhat of a custom where he basically brings his kids for their bar mitzvah and bat mitzvahs to meet some of the heroes. And some of the people they've met include like fighter pilots and all kinds of real heroes. For whatever reason, Daniel wants to meet with me. It's gonna be interesting because, yeah, I'm whatever. So a little bit out of my league here, but he had some questions. So I figured, why not let him interview me on the vlog? So if we can get that going and he's not too shy, we might do an interview, someone interviewing me on camera. Should be interesting. I'm pulling up to the mall right now and uh, should be meeting him soon.